Hello, hello, beloved. It's so good to be with you. Yes, we, we take a break sometimes and that's uh, strategically right. But when uh, we start again, it's fresh, it's new. I know you are not what you were a month ago. Absolutely, you are alive unto God. How can you be the same? Your life, which is Christ, is absolutely changing, transforming you continually. No, heaven is not going to be a boring place where you get some revelation and some uh, super special conferences and music concerts and then another music concert and then another good preaching and no 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 it's a renewing of knowing him of relationship with him that's eternal life so excited about this passion after the beloved is so great and this is what we impart into you. This uh, season, uh, month, will uh, go into something that's very dear to my heart. I think for the last uh, year and a half or so, you, you found out lots of things that not necessarily would make like a sermon or um, a study guide or a series um, to to be published somewhere but it's deep inside as i'm sure that there are some things in the word of god in the bible in your relationship with him that are so personal intimate very clear in your soul and they are changing you from inside have this and um I want to talk about David, King David, <laughs> not my grandson, <laughs> yeah, David. It's, um, it's, it's a very special uh, person uh, for a few reasons. One is uh, Jesus, um, it's called the Son of David. And uh, he does not deny when he's called son of David. Even if at one point he says how David calls him his son when he says the Lord. Is his son or is his Lord? Just, just to kind of mess with the carnal mind of those uh, teachers of the law. But he, Jesus, son of David... Also, he's called a man after God's heart. One of the most powerful kings, at least at that time, uh, probably the most important in all the kingdom of Israel. And he got so many promises from God that followed um, blessed his legacy and the kids and the kids of his kids um, so want to focus on that but today we want to look back and see uh, that line of uh, genealogy and some very special person that was on David's line of um, um, genealogy and that's Ruth. Um, Ruth found Boaz and they gave birth to uh, David's grandpa Obed. So it's important to see how the Lord works 
and it's not just you know the spirit of god came upon someone but it's something about the character something about the change of those that soul um, somebody told me that actually Naomi which is uh, Ruth's mother-in-law Naomi went into Moab to save Ruth and then Ruth was the one that saved Naomi see things that are happening with our life take a trip go meet someone somebody that comes to know the lord and you are saying just one person i went over there for one family and the lord changes that and it's blessing you in time because of that place so ruth makes this declaration which is very powerful we'll see why that's in Ruth uh, chapter 1 verse 16 Ruth said entreat me not to leave you or to turn back from following after you for wherever you go I will go wherever you lodge I will lodge your people shall be my people and catch this and your God my God something happened with Naomi even if she lost so much there was something inside her that determined this foreigner this Moabite to say your God don't, I don't quite know your God and I'm not sure if I want to know him but look where you got <laughs> but your God it's gonna be my God how is that for evangelizing people that they come and they see your God they see the one that you know you walk with and they said you know I don't understand I don't want religion I don't like this I don't understand the Bible I want your God how is that for evangelizing <laughs> where you die I will die and there I will be buried the Lord do so to me and more also if anything but death parts you and me <laughs> what type of soul was built into this foreigner girl didn't go to schools and didn't get disciple by you know different people or didn't know about the faith of Abraham what happened there that that determination actually saved the genealogical line of King David when uh, Naomi she saw that she was determined to go with her she stopped speaking to her she stopped trying to convince her to let go now here is what's amazingly powerful that I see right here do you remember in Genesis 3 the woman eats from the forbidden tree and fruit and gives it to the man and the curse is coming upon all of them and the woman is cursed very specifically and he said this your desire will be after the man your desire what you are to follow to death lots of people are under uh, this curse 
and man had another curse but lots of the women are on all of them <laughs> unless they get free of it I want to introduce to you one that got free of that curse because her desire was not after the man of her life the husband right the one to fulfill me no and even later Boaz which was an older guy he praises her that she didn't go after this young man I mean she was probably very beautiful she could have could have gotten any other man but the only thing that she cared for is I will follow my mother-in-law <laughs> because there is something with her calling with her life with something that's inside her about her people about her God I want that if I don't find that man for the rest of my life I want that anointing I want what she got I'm speaking prophetically now that I do believe I do believe that the generation of Ruth like will be the generation that will break the curses will break the curses amen yeah it's it's super powerful um, Christ it's more important to you than anything that man's soul man's life this time temporary time can ever give you even if that's fulfilling but your desire transcends the temporary desire that's Ruth generation it goes through <laughs> a very interesting read the book of Ruth if you have a few minutes it's, it's not long and in Ruth chapter 4 verse 14 it says um, then the women said to Naomi so Boaz redeems Ruth they get together and they have a baby a boy that's David's grandpa Obed and then the women said to Naomi blessed be the Lord who has not left you this day without a close relative may his name be famous in Israel what a blessing but listen to this may he be a restorer of life and the nourisher of your old age for your daughter-in-law who loves you is better to you than seven sons and he has born this baby better to you than so she lost two sons she lost a husband but there is something that she got that's valued so much more and look at that life this baby that continues that legacy Naomi you went to rescue your rescuer <laughs> what a blessing and right after that it starts showing the genealogy after the blessing comes over Naomi 
and Ruth and the baby, um, they called his name Obed. He is the father of Jesse, the father of David. And then he starts, very interesting, with another genealogy. <laughs> and it starts from Perez. Do you know or remember how Perez was born? Perez was one of the sons of Judah. You know how he was born? He was born from Tamar. <laughs> Tamar, she dressed as a prostitute and Judah stopped by and left her pregnant. And here is Perez. Oh no, I'm, I'm not encouraging um, this, you know, things and sexuality and fornication. And that's not, you know, that's not what we're talking about. But we are talking about a God that's bigger than that. I don't know what you are fighting and struggling and what your past was and you think, well, I don't know if God can still use me or fulfill His plans for my life. Look at the Bible <laughs> and see that. Yes, this is the way the Lord is working. Obed means servant and to serve. Jesse, his son, means I possess. And David, you know what David means? What his name means? David means beloved. Oh, the son of David, the beloved son, the son of David, the beloved son. Here is David. <laughs> That's what we're going to look at. And I want you to go with me, um, really follow this um, every day if you can. It's so precious, so important, because we're not, um, we're not going to look at the, at the David, you know, from years ago, and not even King David, but we're, we're going to look at our souls and what the Lord, the Spirit does in our souls because our souls are called the Beloved. Love you, Beloved.